of uh, quite a bit that uh, has come up and uh, would like to comment on these many topics, although they're related to the same theme. And uh, <clears throat> I've talked about this before, but here it is again. I'm sure people are, are also aware of this document that exists, even though, of course, the world will say that it has been debunked. And it, However, that speaks volumes as well, because... Well, you can read it for yourself and uh, look how everything um, is not coincidence. So Albert Pike's letter denoting the three world wars, in particular uh, World War Three, where it describes, you know, uh, that there would be a... Uh, an agitating, fomented by the Illuminati uh, agenda between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. <clears throat> Interesting, right? Because you can look up what the Islam... Uh, doctrine considers the Jew to be and how to the Ju in the Judaic world um, Islam is a religion of a heretical religion <sighs> similar to how you know to the Jew the Christian faith is you know, erroneous because they rec don't recognize Jesus Christ or Jesus as the Messiah. And without going further into the discrepancies between the three supposed Abrahamic, Abrahamic, whichever way you want to pronounce it, religions, you end up with what appears to be three conflicting narratives. But in uh, further uh, analyzing or further study, one can come to the conclusion that, well, Christianity is the one that stands out. Because Jesus Christ fulfills the Old Covenant and is the final word of God. And Islam states that Muhammad is the last prophet. And of course, then the Baha'is say that um, every period has its uh, prophet, and therefore Baha'u'llah is the last prophet. Or that he is the most recent. Anyway, back to this. The World War Three. So, right, putting, manifesting the conflict between the Zionists and uh, the Islam world. All the while, leaving the atheist to cause havoc uh, uh, simultaneously. And leaving the Christian to not have a, an idea of what's going on, basically. Right? Because it, it says, We shall unleash the nihilist and, and the atheist, and shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm, which in all its horror will show clearly the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most bloody turmoil. Then, everywhere, the citizens obliged to defend them th to defend themselves against the world minority of revolution revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude, disillusioned with Christianity, 
whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer. Right. The final object objective, which has been in operation since the release of Satan. After the thousand year reign of Christ, and it's quite clear that that's been the means of operation since. The manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer. And in their own words, brought finally out in the public. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the, the destruction of Christianity and atheism, atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. Very interesting. Now, that being said, you can disregard it, you can ridiculize it, it's coming from the mouth of deception itself. This is their agenda. I'm not saying that it will come to fruition, for the word of God is the authority. And the deception might concoct a self-fulfilling prophecy, so to speak, in such a way that they present themselves as to be the um, organizers or the cause of the lived experience, even though it has already been spoken, what would be manifest, made manifest. And so the inevitable is that the word of God will be fulfilled. The end is by fire coming down from heaven. Amen. Ever since Satan comes out to deceive the nations, the objective is to surround the camp of the saints and the beloved city. And just as this letter describes, right, to manifest the full doctrine of Lucifer, the pure doctrine of Lucifer. And they have their agents of warfare to do the bidding of Satan. So it's humans out, humans carrying out the apparent will of Satan and basically fulfilling what God has said will happen. So there's no outsmarting, there's no surprising God. There's no outmaneuvering his prophetic word and also the place the saints have in the overall resolution. And so today I wanted to talk about... Um, this young man, whose uh, channel I had come across maybe a couple years ago, a year ago, I don't know, but I had seen one of his uh, videos where he's in a subway terminal asking people questions. And he comes across as a very smart, into, uh, articulate young man, you know, and uh, is engaging, right? It pr presents uh, provoking questions, makes people think, gets reactions out of people, and makes for good uh, content. Which is why I don't I don't think this is his main channel, but it, in this channel he has you know almost a million subscribers. Amazing, fantastic, and. What stands out right right off the bat is, you know, the, these must be his uh, mentors or who he looks up to, his idols. So, with that said, um, I wanted to touch on the, the notion of what are called today influencers, namely in the... Um, platform that we consider to be, you know, the so-called mainstream media or the mainstream 
social networks which are available of course now being heavily criticized for being platforms that are censoring or that are um, being unfair to what supposed freedom of speech is and uh, basically being partial to what uh, content is published and what content is not allowed to be published, etc., etc. So recently uh, I came across this young man's video about apparently I, I, I don't know the, the, the background behind um, it all, but it um, it was a stream uh, where there were other um, YouTubers or streamers or content, content creators or influencers, whatever you want to call them, on the panel. And most of them supposedly have the only thing like been, like literally they have um have been recipients or quote unquote victims of being censored online so apparently they have been canceled or they have been uh banned from certain platforms so they were talking about that and uh, each member seems to be um, quite supposedly unique to their perspectives and they, they don't all pertain to the same narrative, you know. Um, politically speaking, you might say some are more left-leaning, some are more uh, right-leaning, some are in the middle, others are completely on the extreme of the uh, aisle, but this guy, you know, uh, claims to be, you know, just wanting to um, invite different people with different perspectives and, and hear them out and, you know, um, basically being a, being a conduit for allowing free speech to take place and people can v decide for themselves, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, <clears throat> I'll also like to start off by reading Jude uh, 16 which says these are murmurs because so we look at the context so it's talking about the false teachers right um, I will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed them that believe not and the angels which kept their not their first estate but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion. So now speaking of... Uh, false prophets right because it says beloved when I gave the uh, excuse me write to you to exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints for there are certain men crept in unawares who who were before of, of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ, the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is the context, okay? And where it says, Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, right, for gain, and perish in the gainsaying of Cory. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves with without fear clouds they are without water carried about of winds trees whose fruit withereth without fruit twice dead plucked up by the roots raging waves of the sea foaming out their own shame wandering stars 
to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Pretty, pretty uh, descriptive of how these people, how these men are. And Enoch, also the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration, because of advantage. This is what can be seen if one is honest with what is with, with what one is observing in the world. Everybody is out there uh, seeking out their own gain and uh, speaking great swelling words, right? And having other men, admiring other men and, and having other men in high regard, right? With respecting a person, having partiality because of advantage, right? If you're associated with so-and-so, oh, all of a sudden they will promote you, they will give you this, this, the other, you, you can... Um, attain the same level of prestige. So this young man, whether he knows it or not, is promoting these men as people to look up to because he'll say, well, these are role models, right? And they're successful men. And this young man... Uh, holds this personality in highest and high regard even though this personality has been basically i would consider him um one of these agenters of satan he has nothing of value to uh contribute other than just to promote the world and the things of the world and promote them as to as um, something to uh, covet, something for young men to aspire to have in abundance, but only through their own form formalizing of their character, of their apparent discipline, right? All, all things that in appearance come across as virtuous, yet they disregard the Godhead. They don't put, they don't have the, the, the priority or the um, focus of having God as the source of life, the true living God, right? And recognizing the sacrifice of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. But instead, in will worship and in, uh, swelling words and in love of material gain and in satisfaction of their pleasures and desires they say look what we have you too can also attain this status this life I don't know if this is um, this person's actual official website, but I think maybe it has been taken down. But anyway, I found this website and it says, Memberships allow you to fully grasp how ignorant you've been to how the world operates. So they, 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 they provide some sort of enlightenment. You will begin to truly understand how trivial money is. Money is easy. Over 88% of millionaires right now weren't born into wealth. All members become rich because money is not difficult. They are much harder. There are much harder challenges on the road to total freedom. Power is prerequisite to freedom, and most rich people are not powerful. 
in near and negative situation the human mind can fathom in excuse me in in near any negative situation the human mind can fathom legal or illegal anywhere in the world who can you call when it comes to global connections the gravity of brutal lack is constantly dragging you down imagine how high you could reach if you if that same force was constantly pulling you up so the promise of soaring with the eagles of elevating yourself to a higher status of respect of some ho some sort of um prestige yeah uh and all to appease your desire to fit in the world to lust after the world and to see your current situation as well you are med mediocre you have um accepted the conf conformity you have become a dormant shell of a man but we are here to wake you up and make you an a powerhouse so speaking ill of authorities and promising liberty having men's persons in admiration because of advantage so <clears throat> i i'll point out a couple things that i noticed so this person's platform has been now taken away apparently and a lot could be said about that because you know it it it, it apparently gives him more credibility if all of a sudden he's the he's this he's the focus of attention of you know that the the most recent unfair censorship or deplatforming or canceling of this person who apparently was speaking quote unquote was dropping red pills everywhere right was dropping truth bombs everywhere apparently but then being labeled a misogynist a abuser of women a a promoter of violence this and this and the other but really, I mean, look at, this is just another uh, video that I found where other people have pointed out uh, that he's basically uh, uh, just another guru in the New Age realm, but specifically catered to the modern modernity of the situation which young men find themselves in so in the 60s forward um, the movement of you know sexual liberalization uh, living according to the the idea of peace freedom peace and love this and the other but eventually those people ended up joining the corporate world anyway so now fast forward 40 years or so and now the the young people uh, dissatisfied with the world um, as the people were in the 60s or whatever now that they have been surrounded by a, another repackaged refurbished lie um, now other gurus surround them with promises of liberation of of freedom of soaring to your next higher self and this and this tate P tate phd right Pimping and hose degrees, the war room, academy, right? I mean, how to read body language, how to make money, get fit. And though some of these, you know, um, web seminars are free or whatever, these other courses are uh, cost money. So, of course, um, these people are making money off of the disillusioned man the disillusioned young man that's growing up in the world and apparently having this to to be the only thing that approximates that comes close to any anything 
uh, worth considering that might be a way to 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 come out of the stupor that they find themselves in. But that's where the saints must hold fast, be the light of the world, that everything that can be seen as it truly is can be called out for what it is and not partake in the sins of other men, not to partake and become a participant in the downfall, in, in the deception, but rather to speak out, to expose. Because I can attest to um, coming across information like this before through other so-called gurus and seeing the apparent virtue in it and being interested in it for a while, then coming to realize that it comes short. The only thing that Uh, the only thing that man is truly yearning for in his heart is the word of God. For he knows, man can recognize the life in it. It's what brings a man out of darkness. However, if man loves his darkness more than the truth, he remains in darkness and will make every excuse possible under the sun to justify living after the flesh. And so, therefore, that's why we see people going after this version of virtue that is filled with hypocrisy, it's, it's filled with contradiction, yet it allows him to pursue a life of apparent abundance and self-development and attaining all the things that he can imagine himself attaining and amassing and experiencing in the life that he has, thinking that it's his to live and that it's his to decide how he should fill it with all the pleasures under the sun. Well, many of you can see that that is the lie. That this, this portrayal of what a man is, is but folly. Okay, so and of course, you know, teaching with their hands. So this is something for you guys to address and I genuinely pray for you. I have no ill will against any of my haters. I have no ill will against any social media. Hello, I have no ill will against anybody. To follow me and keep up with me. Okay, so, you know, uh, having this appearing of godly, right? Godliness. Having a, of, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Ever searching, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. There you go. So if you're just an entertainer, then you should not have opinions. Okay, so this is something that I came across, and... Pay close attention to what this young man is saying. Got to him, and they just became products of the Matrix. So he's talking about other content I even have a creators picture going up to KSI who when I was like he looked up to when he was younger. So he's talking about influencers who he looked up to when he was younger, and he's essentially calling them out. Twelve. I remember meeting him at a gaming convention. I was like, he was one of my favorite YouTubers. And then I saw him switch up. I saw Ethan decline. He used to be funny. He used to make fun of Triggered. 
Ethan used to be really funny and switched up. The hate got to him, the mob got to him, and they just became products of the Matrix. That's exactly what KSI was doing when he tweeted, thank God, Andrew Tate got banned. And he just deleted it. So, you know, he told me he's just an entertainer. There you go. So what? So he told me he was just an entertainer. Okay, let's let hear that again. He just deleted it. So, you know, he told me he's just an entertainer. There you go. So if you're just an entertainer, then you should not have opinions about stuff. Just tell me a joke. Shut up. Dance. Why are you trying to say something serious if you're just a clown? Can't believe you said that. Actually, I can. I understand why he's trying to appeal to the masses. Once somebody gets canceled, they get so afraid of getting canceled again. So they just echo what they're told to echo. And it's like you blew up because you were unique and original and funny and interesting and you were doing something that other people weren't doing and now you're making content that just it's just feeding the narrative you make programmable easy like h3h3 you used to make original unique videos and now you sit there yeah he's like, yeah my wife Ela thinks that this is disgusting he's like literally a human trafficker what happened what, ha what happened? So he's calling out these other uh, channels or these other influencers who he looked up to at one point, and now he's saying, "What happened? You know, uh, used to be unique. Now you just parrot the narrative, where you just regurgitate what you're told to regurgitate." <sighs> okay, so keep that in mind because what's what's going on here? So this is the panel where you know you have different. Uh, people with different uh, outlooks and you bring them together and apparently a lot, it provides for good uh, content. So but now this uh, Nick is being pressured uh, about the idea of bullying. Yeah, no, Jesus, you're, you're right. Jesus was a Hebrew and, and like other people at that time, he, he has that, that, Eastern Mediterranean complexion, right? I mean, yeah. that's what they look like. Yeah. Um, but as far as modern day Jews, Jesus is not a Jew like modern day Jews are. Oh. It's all, and, and it's true because, you know, if you remember, Jesus came and it was the Pharisees that said, <laughs> oh, you're not, you're not really the Messiah. You're not really fulfilling the prophecies. But of course he was. Uh -huh. And so all the people, all the people that were the Jews of the Old Testament became Christians because Christ fulfilled the prophecies of the Old Testament. All the people the that remain Jesus. There's so much are... rambling. See, is it making you uncomfortable, Destiny? Because you can't name them? You can't talk about Jews? Is it because... Are they paying you off or something? So, 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 that's why you have MasterCard still, right? So the, the Jews of today are very different than the Jews of the Old Testament. Um, ethnically? I thought that's what we were talking about. If you want, to I thought we were talking about religion. If you have a MasterCard or Visa, you're being paid off. Oh, wait, we're talking about religion? You think Jewish is just religion? So there are no ethnically Jewish people. What are you talking Okay, I don't know why I came here, but let me see if I can find the spot. Regardless, so this is the, the type of conversation that they were having. People can say, oh, you know, they're taboo subjects, or oh, you're not supposed to say this or that or the other. Well, talking about, I, I'm sorry, what do you, what, what is your low IQ interjection? Well, you're so, you're so slippery sure. with the race it's, thing. It's, I just think it's very funny to me. Down. I'm just trying to. Is there actually like the most diverse group of people in the world? Because you will like any race. That's true. Right. It's very interesting to me. Right about that. We can agree on that. But, um, as okay. far as uh, yeah. So what, what what are the Jews of today like? What like? In Minecraft, Yo, Nick, be careful, bro. Please. We need to we need to no, speak no, the truth no. to be spoken, right, Sneeko? Yeah. Do, do we not do we not want the truth to be spoken? We Why can you speak the truth in Minecraft? We can speak all the truth we want in a video game. Okay, so he just said, "Oh, whatever you say, be careful what what you say." So now they're calling him out for being like, "Oh, aren't you not supposed to care what other people say?" And he's like, no, 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 I do care. You know, I, I want to hold my platform as long as I can. Yeah. We well, can uh, we talk about it, please. Yeah, you, you kind of got scared a little bit, Nico. Yeah. Uh, Nico, yeah. You, yeah. I haven't heard yeah. you interject once this whole time. That's but now that we're getting into the I thing that got him banned be from be every like airline, you. every credit card. I thought we is down with the Yo, system. No, it's not with the Nico, system. Nico wants to fly Delta. Leave I want to fly Delta, Ladia, and I want to still be a bot like you to some extent. Nick's over here and so oh, Okay, He's you know what? I, 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 I want to be a bit of a bot. Nick is an incel. You need to be a little, a little bit, bro. Fuck that shit. Hey, oh, no, okay. welcome in the Being an adult, that's the bot maturity. I hate that shit. I just appreciate you. This last month and said, yo, sick hoes in the bot. Yeah, yeah, I want to say, actually, that's a really. Okay, why is it not 
Abba, that's a really good observation too, because a lot of people will ask, <clears throat> people like Sneeko, we come for everything. But the byproduct of that is that creators are able to make a fuck ton of money because it's an Ooh. ad safe, it's a corporate safe environment. So Ooh. YouTubers on one hand will be collecting 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 a month off Ooh. of ad revenue on YouTube. And then they'll turn around and be like, look at how disgusting a corporate safe this world is. If you don't want to be here, you can go to other platforms where you don't make Ooh. any fucking money. But like part of that corporate platform. safe thing when is I enabled people to make a ton of money working over when here. When I get banned, I'm hopping over to Cozy TV or another platform for right now, <laughs> I'm gonna rake in all the money. And did you know I have a fucking employee try to take that, but as long as we're all right, let's play some football. Okay, let's play hold some football. on. I, I, I want I want to talk about Nico out here on these platforms growing really large. As as young, you know, minority men, what do you guys envision yourselves doing with the wealth that you guys are accruing? What are some of the important? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying the racial part is that important. I'm saying ultimately. I know not you're gonna... not. I, he is. I'm oh, not so saying you are. I'm saying he oh, was. Dion yeah. or Nick? No, no, no. no, no, no. Nick, uh, Nick, Nick, Nick. I, I don't okay. think I ever said that black and white people can't agree. Like what? Jake. I'm not, yeah, I'm just trying to say that like you can find agreement with people that don't look like you. That's all I'm saying. I don't care if you, you agree do. With if it's a corporate safe environment. So Ooh. YouTubers on one hand will be because I because I, I do invest and because uh... is there are truths that you do hear in the red pill. Let's say and let's isolate it because I know when. No, I, I believe in God, but I'm not a Christian. I like aspects of different religions. So you're quoting the Bible and stuff like that, but it's that's not what I follow. I like a lot of stuff. Well, in why'd you bring it up? Why'd you bring it up? That's what people are going to Because Christianity is an aesthetic for red pillars. They don't actually no, believe not. in any no, of the shit. They just okay, that's, that's interesting to note because he's, uh, he, he, he talks about God, but then he says, oh, uh, not the Christian God. I just believe in God. So he, he's created a, a version of what he thinks God is. They're like, what? oh, like I like God, but I'm uh, spiritual, but I don't have a denomination, and I don't go to church, okay, and I don't follow any of the tough it's rules. Not even it's not even the girls that talk about astrology. Kind of is dumb. This girls that talk about astrology all day. Okay, okay, okay. Destiny, okay, okay, Destiny, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Destiny, you just said a bunch of nonsense. First of all, if Myron is was a former Muslim, I think he's actually no, he's still a practicing Muslim. Tate, a lot of the times he aligns with like Muslim practices. Me too. But my with the religion. A lot of times he aligns with Muslim. Okay, so with with the with Islam or so basically he's promoting the idea that you can find affinity and prescri prescribe to uh, or partake from whichever quote unquote religion you see fit at whatever time, and you can switch and jump in, jump out. Interesting. Religion I wanted to convert to when I was a kid was. When, if you're, when you're so he wanted to convert to islam as a kid interesting so you know well, that's think, a whole different religion in and of itself i feel like of all the major religions in the world at the very least your three big ones you know, judaism islam and... for a lot of my life i agree with you i rail against these you saying all this shit, bullying and stuff, and then you're like, "Hey, at the end of the day, it's just a joke, guys. I'm just joking. I'm here to entertain it." It's all okay. So the, that's that's where the spot was. I originally wanted to get to, even though we we now uh, see a glimpse of what this whole um, stream was all about. This is not even on um, his channel, right? Nick's or Nico's. Um, channel right i had to find this because the original he's taken down from his channel he had the full length which i think was close to five hours um and then he had a shorter version of it titled something like you know oh this stream was the hottest thing in the internet or whatever and then he pulled them he deleted them these are just other um channels that i f was able to find that have parts of the stream. So hey, that's when we were talking about you being the villain. I was like, bro, you don't always need to be the villain. And you were like, it does a little bit, you know, like, I don't want to no, always get shit on. So this is important right here related to wake back up again, roasting, um, which was what we saw here, right? He says, if you're just an entertainer, you don't, you don't have. You shouldn't be then talking about your opinions, right? Just, just dance, right? He's just saying, just entertain. The me. people that I used to admire growing up became bots for the Matrix, and I understand that me saying this is like risking KSI unfollowing me. His father, 
and his family members. I think that heart bang. The KSI tweeted, thank I remember meeting him at a game line. He used to be funny. He used to make fun of the mob got to him and they just became private band. And he just deleted it. So, you know, he told me he's just an entertainer. There you go. So if you're just an entertainer, then you should not have opinions about stuff. Just tell me a joke. Shut up. Dance. All right. Tell me a joke. Shut up and dance. Bullying is good. We Abba. need bullying. Bullying makes people better. We were on. Um, we okay. Bullying makes people makes people better. Okay. Me and Snicker, we be talking on the phone like when we're not streaming, and we were talking. Hey, he. Uh, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna tell. Uh, is it cool if I tell you what we talk about on the phone? Snicker? No, I don't give a fuck. Uh -oh. Okay. So th this next little while um is quite telling, and you'll see why. And so we were talking about it, and he was showing me uh how people on his reddit all it is is just straight hate literally paragraphs like they write full page essays and i saw that and i felt empathy for him and i was like sneak bro like bro like are you okay man like having nothing but something where it should be From nothing but face. positivity i was like bro is this like good? And he was like yeah it does a little bit you know Maybe. like i don't want to no, always get shit on did i say that but that's so what he wants to come across as like no, no no i have i'm made of steel nothing affects me even though this guy's saying, well, yeah, he told me in a private conversation that, you know, these negative comments get to him. And he's like, what? No, 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 no. I never said that. Literally what you no, said, bro. I said, fuck them. I don't fucking, I don't care about essays. Okay. Okay. I don't remember saying that. that. Okay. Seriously. Okay. okay. Finish, finish. But, that, but that's literally, that, that's what he told me. He was like, yeah, it gets to me a little bit, you know. And he, that's when we were talking about you being the villain. I was like, bro, you don't always need to be the villain. And you were like, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be the villain, no, but no, I feel like someone has said. to be. No, what I said was people like to hate watch. I don't want to be the villain, but I understand there's a lot of people online. They treat it like murder documentaries. They want to find somebody that they disagree with or that disagrees with their ideas. And they want to write essays. They like to watch it, analyze and psychoanalyze and try to get in my head. Tell me to go to therapy, type an essay about why I change, try to figure out. They, they treat it like I'm a character on a show. It's not that I want to be the villain. I just understand that that's entertainment for a lot of people. So I don't. Okay. I understand that that's entertainment for a lot of people. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, hold on, I don't want to give him compassion and empathy because it's fuck it. At the end of the day, it's just entertainment. And I, what I want you eat it. at the end of the day, f it, it's just entertainment. So he 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 equates what he does as entertainment. And what did he say about enter those who say that are entertainers? Entertainment. He's like, yeah. Tell me a joke and shut up. You shouldn't then think that you can tell me your opinions or anything that matters. Just dance. But here, he's denying that he's not affected by, you know, negative comments. People that write him essays about why he does this, this, the other. And he's like, well, in the end of the day, it's just entertainment. Hmm. Interesting. In that moment, and you oh. said it got to you a little bit. And the thing I is that <laughs> at least this guy caught on to um, what he just admitted. And you, we might see, but um, or I might play it to the point where he says this, but basically he gives him an out. He tries to give Sneeko an out in saying, did you really mean to say that? Because I think he... Re this guy realizes that this guy made a, a no no and he's trying to give him an out and he didn't he didn't do it. I don't remember saying that. I don't okay, remember oh, saying oh, that. Oh, oh, Sneeko, finish with your point. I got into this because I wanted to be a comedian. I really wanted to be a stand up comedian, that's why I started doing So he started doing all of this because he wanted to be an entertainer. Interesting. YouTube. So at the end of the day, if I'm entertaining people, my job is being done. If they could type what I told you, what I remember. If so why does he care so much about these other apparent influencers who are just doing the same as you are? Oh, well, the difference is that he thinks that he's promoting truth, that he's giving his opinion that somehow he thinks matters over the opinions of others. Hmm. Well, that's all, you know, fair if there was a standard that could be 
measured. And the, the thing is that any man falls short to that standard because man makes his own idol, makes his own God in his own image and measure measures himself according to that to other men and and uses other men to compare himself, etc., etc. That's foolishness. For we are to hold the word of God as its rightful place, which is the truth. The word of God is the standard, for God is the standard. Even though man can come close in trying to, you know, approximate the virtue that um, the Word of God teaches that if one espouses and fills one's heart with the truth, one is to be a new creature in Christ. And basically what you do is the Word of God, the will of God. And that's a, a completion, right? Your faith is made complete by the works that you do opposed to the ways of man which he espouses you know a code of ethics and tries to live by them but they're in man's image and inevitably it will be flawed filled with contradiction and inevitably result in hypocrisy for if a man does not keep the commandments of god one does not love scripture teaches us that God is love and therefore if we love God we keep his commandments first John is is the go-to for me to uh, be filled with that wisdom specifically of what it means to embody the love of God. No longer having to live in sin. Justifying the apparent uh, contradiction of the man that claims to be of God but then denies him in his works. If they could write a whole fucking essay about a stream, which they're probably doing right now in the comment section, if they could type a whole paragraph longer than their homework and not make any money out of it, that? they were entertained. They had fun. Hold they hold, like hold, it. Hold up, hold up. I, I got this is where he allowed, get, tries to give him a, an out. You constantly come up here talking about you're spreading the truth, that you're changing people's lives. You want to make them a you want to make me all this stuff? I get that you also want to crack jokes, but we need to stop doing this whole thing where you come in on the comedian angle to kind of like obfuscate any kind of responsibility that you I'm have. I'm not trying to take responsibility. No, 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 because because it does sound okay when you hear you talk like I'm just here to entertain. I'm just here to entertain. That's not true. You're not just here to entertain. If you're being I'm honest, who's you're here to spread the truth, to open people's minds, to I'm push I'm men to do better. That's not what a comedian does. Ah, but who's your favorite comedian? Patrice, right? See, he tried to give him a note, and this guy just. Didn't see it. Sure. Patrice O'Neill and Dave Chappelle. I got Dave Chappelle gave me that hundred dollar bill over there on that wall. The best way to get to truth is through comedy. Okay, I I don't disagree, but you need to stop doing says who? Well, apparently says him. The truth is undeniable and the truth is undefeated. The truth is the truth whether one accepts it or not. So no amount of comedy will spread the truth because ultimately people will come to dis, uh, dislike the truth. They reject, man rejects the truth because man prefers the lie. Man will justify the lie if he loves the darkness for his works are evil and he doesn't want his evil to be exposed so no amount of jokes will convince man of wrongdoing and turn him to the righteous path 
rather a conviction, right, of the spirit allows one to recognize one's wrongdoing, which therefore allows for one to be humbled, to repent before the Lord. And depart from evil. To call upon the name of the Lord. To believe that Jesus is Messiah. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Who laid his life down because he had authority to take it up again. Fulfilling the reconciliation required paying the penalty to reconcile the entirety of creation, man included, to himself. I mean, it's the, the, the entire of the gospel which uh, we have the record of. We have the record that God has provided of his Son. And whoever believes the record has the Father. Whoever has the Son has the Father. Whoever denies the Son has not the Father. So, this is where the Abba, I think his name is, pr tries to give Sneeko an out, and he just rebuttals. He just refutes it. I'm doing this whole thing where you're pretending like you're just here to do comedy. That's not what it is. You're actually That's here to change goal. people's lives and open their eyes. The end goal is comedy? Hmm. So his end goal is not to, you know, um, stand for the truth, you know, be relentless and not care if, you know, people end up hating you because you tell them the truth. To him, it's, no, 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 it's comedy. I got into this business because I wanted to be an, an entertainer. So everything that he said over here is hypocrisy. And everything which he's saying here is hypocrisy. Is contradictory, is not in alignment with what his works are. In word, he can say whatever he wants, but then indeed, what is going on? To the truth. But like, you're saying all this shit, bullying and stuff, and then you're like, hey, at the end of the day, it's just a joke, guys. I'm just joking. I'm here to entertain it. It's all entertainment purposes. It's like you can say the most sh fuck shit in the world, but then when people are getting on to you, it's like, nobody in this world can take a joke. Like, what's up, guys? Like, I'm just here joking. That, nah, that's, that's goes right, you because time. you have to... Right. Oh, and then this guy jumps in. It's like, you have to be provocative to, uh, you know, get a crowd. Well, what does it say here? Taking advantage of the differences caused by the agentor, agents of agitation, otherwise known as the Illuminati, Gog and Magog, the red and the blue, agents of dualistic turbulence pitting one against the other smoke and mirrors but all it's doing is detracting you from the truth which is not divided the truth is not divided rather it divides you from the lie it takes you from the lie into everlasting life but no these these characters rather keep you in the never ending s stage of agitation and if you look at this person's you know um <clears throat> channel it's just filled with i mean Is his face is on every thumbnail, right? That's that's what the world craves. They identify. It's what gets clicks. It's what this and the other. And of course, people will say, well, I'm just providing what the masses demand. Supply and demand. I supply what they demand. Why then hate me? Hmm. No. What? Why? Why are these people supposedly, quote unquote, hating on this person? And he would say, "Well, because I'm telling them the truth, 
or I don't. He, and he would probably say, "I don't care if I'm being offensive." I, re- I think we can follow that. You know? I want to fuck. Because I know, because I know, I'm gonna leave you up there. I'm a strong guy. You feel me? Okay. To be offensive in order to be fun. Nothing is offensive to have with that because of you. Things, I think responsibility. But thinking of events, it prevents. Totally the other thing I wanted to show was when uh, this person comes in and says, ask him. He basically says, I, I probably won't play, but I, would, I mean, he says, too, and this is, isn't this what is, you do? Because he was talking about how bullying is good, right? And so when he receives bullying, he's like, this guy's like, isn't it the same? Shouldn't you be okay with it? He's like, no, 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 it's different because they're calling for my... Um, for me to be hurt they're they're calling um or they're wishing death or harm on me and he's like that's the difference he's like i don't want people to get hurt i don't i'm not calling for i'm not wishing or calling for the death of someone and he's like that's the difference he's like okay okay but whenever people call him a loser or this or the other he's like okay yeah that's sure that's fair game i'm not against name calling I'm not against people name calling me. And he's like, okay, okay. And he's like, at least you're consistent on that much, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I think that's all I wanted to show regarding those two clips. I don't re- I don't believe that uh, this young man has um, a grasp on what he truly stands for, which is why he is being taken advantage of by people like um, well like we'll see here where is that Why are you trying to say something serious if you're just a clown? Can't believe you said that. Actually, I can. I understand why he's trying to appeal to the masses. Once somebody gets canceled, they get so afraid of getting canceled again. So they just echo what they're told. To. Yeah, I my dad's dope, but my dad, I don't remember any like bomb drop moving quotes like that. Are you trying to keep up being like as viral as you are forever or not forever, but like for most important thing for people to understand who know me and Andrew and who have seen me and Andrew is this, our lives will remain unchanged. So this is apparently, you know, if nothing the, gets reinstated. If we the do- brother of the, the personality who he's um, discussing. This is Tristan Tate. Right, and he look at look at how his his eyes lit up when he receives a message from who he looks up to. It's YouTube, yo, YouTube, don't ban this account. It's actually a fake Tristan Tate account. He just donated four hundred fifty. Tristan Tate said, "Wonderful stream. Do yourself a favor and keep your account safe. Never say." Four hundred fifty. Right in 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 uh, Jamatra, right nine. He's like, do yourself a favor and don't mention the name of my brother. So he's receiving commands from these uh, uh, men. And he, he's receiving advice from these men. Say the name. Uh, again, keep telling the truth. We love and respect you. I'll come online and talk with you for as long as I'm allowed to. You have my WhatsApp whenever you need to talk. Good luck in the future. Your friend Tristan. One time. And then he plays. he, he, he plays the call which he's very prideful of from this same character. Hey, Tristan, that's one step closer. So Andrew's been banned on almost every social media platform you can imagine. I've sent you his final message. If nothing gets reinstated, if we don't make- So the final message, he's saying, I sent you the final message to which he, Nico, Nico um, fulfilled the command to react to make a stream reacting to um, Andrew's last message, as you'll see here. Make any other big moves. 
this is going to be Andrew's goodbye. So I know you respect a lot of the things that me and him say. My YouTubes have been removed as well. I think he's kind of speaking for both of us here. If you could react to it and, you know, let people know his final message, that would mean a lot to me. I hmm. If you could react to it, it would mean a lot to me. So he's just doing as he's told. And he's streaming it and he's letting you know. He's letting you know that he's doing what he's been told. Even though it wasn't a direct command like, oh, react to this and do what I say. They put it in a very nice way. If you could, it would mean a lot to me. And this and this and the other. Not realizing that he's being manipulated. I'm probably going to disappear from Instagram within a certain period of time. They are trying to silence us. But I think the most important thing for people to understand who know me and Andrew and who have seen me and Andrew is this. Our lives will remain unchanged. Social media is just me living my life and every two to three days taking a picture of something I'm doing and posting it on a website called Instagram.com. But the yachts, the girls, the cars, the trips, the house, the money, the casinos, everything I'm doing is never going to end. This is why the haters can never actually defeat me and Andrew. They are defeated by life. They are sad in their lives and the internet is all they have. All we were doing was showing the internet a little slice of our happiness, of our perfect existence. Their perfect existence. Wow. What a mouthful. This is their perfect existence. A little slice, right, of what you can do attain you too can sit around smoking cigars laying as many women as you can shooting guns punching out people posing in front of shiny tables with weird eccentric looking people with beards talking about how you have abundance of cashola money yachts that you're a top g just incredible right amazing right <clears throat> and <clears throat> and in this clip right here um which i have to wait till it loads what does it say i guess i'm an orthodox christian but I if guess I, I guess I'm an Orthodox Christian, but so I guess I'm an Orthodox Christian. Regarding what? What? Who told you that? I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future. You have to bet on Islam. Mm. Or near a mosque, I feel. You have to bet on Islam. Wow, amazing, amazing. Again, right? Mm hmm. Pitting up Islam with Zionists. With Zion and political Zionism against Islam. And Christianity against atheism. And it's and it's exactly what you see today. I mean, how many debates do you see? Um, atheist versus Christian. There's a lot. The overwhelming you know, bulk of uh, debate and conflict and this and the other, of course, is between all the, you know, the, the, the Judaism, Islam and Christianity, and they're all playing off of the one another. And I believe that it's been a conflated co conflict based on nothing based on the assumption that one will believe that they're basically the same religion, but denying the clear discrepancies between them, the, the clear um, differences between them that only uh, settle down, that only sediment to 
come to the conclusion that Jesus Christ is the true record of God, the living God, of whom Jesus is the, the image of the invisible God. Energy that I, I'm at peace with. Commentator and businessman, entrepreneur. So, when he uh, business entrepreneur, right? He makes rap videos. He does this, the other, just poses in front of expensive cars, has nice clothing, whatever. Poses with women, claims himself to be a pimp. He has a hierarchy of women, you know, exposing themselves on camera, and, that, and which is a source of his uh, income. What makes his rich. video went viral. Whatever. You got it, brother. That's the most important thing. Very nice. Thank you for accepting the invitation. So, Glad to be here. So let's start off with it. See, they got to see this. Um, you're in this car now with okay. this brand. This it's. So you know, um, putting on a high pedestal the material gain, right? Cars, watches, godly apparel, right? Having respect of persons, apparently. Gay apparel. In the book of James, it says, "Well, if 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 a man cometh with a gold ring and with, you know, um, flashy garments or flashy clothing, and you give him priority preference over a poor man, it's like you're guilty of sin. You 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 are, you are manifesting respect of persons when you shouldn't. Partiality." Yeah, that I'm there a lot. I'm there often. Well, do you do you actually, if you don't mind me, do you know the words what were what are being said when you hear the Adonis, since you hear it so so often there? No. So I think he you and it. I first started speaking after it was actually a video before this video. I believe I was on a podcast and I was explaining how much respect I have for the faith of Islam mm -hmm. and how it's a faith which is formidable and it's a faith that needs to be respected. If somebody says, "Look." The, uh, the Muslims are angry at you, then it matters. But if someone says the Christians are angry at you, nobody cares anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what I was trying to say. I have a lot of respect. For Interesting. What did he say again? For the faith. If someone says the Christians are angry at you, the, uh, the Muslims are angry at you, then it matters. But if someone says the Christians are angry at you, nobody cares anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what I was trying to say. I have a lot of respect for the faith. I'm not a practice. So clearly displaying who he has allegiance to. He's like, ah, if the Christians say that they're angry at you, pfft. Nobody cares. Now, on the other hand, if Muslims say that around you, you better, you better pay attention. They're they're the more formidable religion. That's where I put my money on. To sing Muslim, however, I do have absolute respect for it. So no, I don't understand the words. I didn't. I didn't. Uh... Exactly. He doesn't understand. He doesn't know. But he knows what to bet on. He's like, I bet my money on that. Because people fear it. Interesting. That's enough out of that guy. So he's an opportunistic, if you will. He is a lover of money. Philippians 3 8. Yeah, doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God on the basis of faith. Yes. Amen. But thou hast fully known the doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came out, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured. 
but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So if what we're seeing here is not a complete uh, obvious example of what that looks like, I don't know what it what it is of an example of. To me, I believe that what we're witnessing, and this is just an one of many examples which are out there that display this, which we have just read, right? Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. What is this person, right, doing in, in presenting this life as to be desired? Siding with people, with religions for that matter, because of gain. He's like, oh, I bet on that, and I, I don't want to be on their bad side, so I better put my money on them and forget Christianity, forget that, forget the truth. I just want to be on the winning team. And this guy espouses, you know, um, things that might be conflated to being uh, similar to what um, Islam or Christianity um, promote, such as, you know, having the man be the head of, of the household, the head of the wife, etc., etc. But no, because then he goes and promotes uh, carnality, the pursuit of money, the pursuit of uh, d fulfilling your desires, of not denying yourself, which is in complete contradiction to what the Bible teaches, which is deny yourself. Love not your lives. If you seek to preserve your life, you will lose it. He who loses his life for my name's sake will... will We'll keep it. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Right? Who are we learning from? And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Amen. Not perfect in the sense that these men purport to be, giving us a glimpse of their perfect lives. Nay, be not deceived. This is another example of the double, you know, the double speak, right? Because in, in, in appearing to be some sort of virtuous young man or whatever, or, or just thinking that he's following men that are speaking the truth, the result is a fruit of this nature. I'm not weak, so I'm going to be able to pick you up and do everything you want me to do to you. You know what I'm saying? So all, all these men are competing to get the attention of this female, and I think they get a date with her I, I believe so they're going around talking about what they would do what you know in in, in the, sexually and i'm gonna be all up in your ear i'm gonna kiss you everywhere all over your body you feel me it's gonna get crazy you know what i'm saying we could do that outside Ooh, we really could do that know. inside you know what i'm saying yo snag you know what i'm talking about i mean he immediately regretted saying that he's like snag you know what i'm talking about right so Many will interpret that to be, oh, so you've done it with another male? He's like, well, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> wow. No, no, on, on, my, on my life, not like that. On my life, not Shut like that. Shut your ass up, Sneeko. I'm up. Personally, yeah. uh, I am a man of God. I do want to settle down. But I am a man of God. What does that even mean? Because we saw earlier that it, he doesn't mean it in the sense that everyone would assume it to be. Whether be it Christ, the Christian in the Christian faith or secondarily probably the Islam, right? In the Islam perspective. 
nobody would ever guess that what he meant was, oh, he, in what he has made, the idol which he has made of himself or what he thinks God is, which he described in the other stream um, was what he meant by God. He's like, I don't mean it in the, in, the, in the Christian sense. I mean it, you know, God and this and that. And then he was called out on it by this guy, I think it was. He's like, you can't just say God and not, you know, and and uh, the, and then believe whatever you want God to be. He's like, no, no, you know, that's why this and the other and this and the other. So he was called out on that. But in this stream, he's saying... I'm a man of God. And he opens with that. I want, I want to get married. And what he says next is astounding. But eventually right now, it's just, it's just, I could see you're a very beautiful girl and I'm into a lot of stuff. Maybe not everything, but I keep baby wipes next to the bed. I'm personally a virgin when it comes to stuff down there. But if you want to lick it, I would let you kiss it. If I can kiss yours or something like that, we could really figure something out. I like to get freaky. I got a, like, I got a lot of toys. I like to figure stuff out. I like to experiment. I see you got the animal in the back. I'm a whatever you want. I'm a slut. I have no shame. Whatever you want to do, I'm with it. The animal in the back. I'm a whatever you want. I'm a slut. I have no shame. Whatever you want to do, I'm with it. The animal in the back. I'm a whatever you want. I'm a slut. I have no shame. Whatever you want to do. So out of the horse's mouth, as they say it, as they say, directly from him. And then immediately he's called out for it. I'm with it, but there's boundaries to some extent. Like we can't do, we can't go too crazy. There's got to have some boundaries to some extent. I can't let you do it, but we could bring other women into the bedroom if you want to go strap up and like I could watch you peg another girl. I'm down to do that. That would be funny. So you're, trickles you're down. A slut for God. I'm a slut for you, but when I and she, notice what she asked, she's like, "Are you a slut for God?" Okay, this this was just a few days ago. And this other, so this was what? Uh, July 27th. And this other <clears throat> stream was uh, around August 18th. This other one, um, August 23rd. Which is interesting, right? When, he's, when he talks about the entertainer, he's like, if you're an entertainer, just shut up. Tell me a joke and shut up. So that was on the 23rd. This other stream where he talks about being a, not an entertainer was before that. So though this is not on his main channel, this other channel uploaded this video August 18th, which means this stream took place either on that day or before that. And he later goes on and, and makes this other stream days later and says that if you're in entertainment, if you're an entertainer, just tell me a joke and shut up. Even though days ago, before that, he had said that he's in it to be an entertainer. That the main reason he got into all of this was because he wanted to be a comedian. And apparently he thinks that comedy is how you convey truth amazing and here she he's being called out for saying what are you a slut for god he's like no no no, i'm a slut for you i'm a slut for you that would be funny so to trickles you're down a slut for god i'm a slut for you but when i get married eventually like then all that all that freaky stuff that goes that goes aside and then i'm gonna be a man of god that literally and then i'm gonna be a man of god when he opened up saying i'm a man of god so which is it? Are you a man of God or you will be someday? What is going on? It makes no sense. That makes a lot of sense because I'm not married. Yeah, it does. It, somebody called out on He's like, that makes no sense. To him, it makes perfect sense. Married yet, I'm still experimenting. We're still young. Look at her. She's very beautiful. I can't hold back. God would not respect me if I didn't respect her body properly. You feel what I'm saying? God would not respect me if I did not respect her body properly. So that means I have to go and fornicate with her and do all these freaky stuff. What is he saying? Just leading many young men astray. Leading many young men astray. Having an appearance of godliness, but denying the power thereof.
ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of truth. But scripture is right that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Timothy, 1 Timothy 4, 7. But reject irreverent, silly myths. Instead, train yourself for godliness. For physical exercise is of limited value, but godliness is valuable in every way, holding promise for the present life and for the one to come. Amen. First Timothy 6, I wanted to le read a large portion of this because it's very, very powerful. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed, and that they have been believed, and they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren but rather to do them service because they are faithful and beloved partakers uh, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud knowing nothing but doing about question, but doting about questions and strifes of words. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain, right? Supposing that wealth, supposing that riches in the world is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. Because what did we see here, right? That... I count all of those things that previously I thought were gain. I consider them but dung, that I may win Christ, right? For I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Right, so right here, uh, continuing for, from such withdraw thyself, but godliness with contentment is great gain, amen. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. Right, why go after chasing what the world promotes? What other deceitful men would have you believe is the way to, quote-unquote, happiness, fulfillment, prestige, honor, respect, freedom, liberty, virtue, right? Wealth. I mean, all these things that this person promotes is basically the heathenistic life of a, what he tells you is what it is to be a man. Conforming. Right? He's selling you a conformity of the world and keeping you right from the liberty which is in Christ. So the complete opposite of what actually sets a man free, he's selling you what sinks you further into your car carnal basal state, which will inevitably lead to your own death, which only leads to death, right? Whereas the path of righteousness leads unto life. And life everlasting, which is in Christ Jesus. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall into, in, into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 
But thou, O man of God, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called. Excuse me, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quicketh all things. And before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep it, he's his commandments without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ, which in these, excuse me, which in his times he shall show, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings, Lord of lords, who only hath immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. And this part right here is pretty, pretty exact as well, which says, Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded, nor trust in certain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Amen. There's nothing more worthy, nothing more valuable than, what, than that which is in the Son of God which is life everlasting, eternal life. Let us not be allured away by the, the, the lusts of the flesh, that which only appeases the temporary pleasure of your, of your flesh, but rather turn unto godliness, which profiteth much. Bodily exercise profiteth little. First John two fifteen again says Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all the things in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, and the pride of life is not from the Father, but from the world. So, I pray that this young man um, depart from the unrighteousness which he is choosing to side with and promote. But uh, rather, I, I think you we know, can follow that. I can have the platform that he has to profess the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, as the Savior of men. And not to go after, you know, chasing the false promise of men that only have made merchandise of you. This man and his brother do not care about this young man. They only care about their agenda, their their appearance what they believe is what they're doing but then scripture tells us that these seducers these evil men continue worse and worse deceiving and being deceived they themselves are being deceived so let us not be deceived and continue after men but rather trust in the lord be filled with his word. Repent. Turn to him. He is our refuge. He is our fortress. Be made a new man in Christ. Reborn. In his image. 
not after our own. Let us flee from idolatry and making idols of ourselves and to ourselves, thinking that we have a sense of virtue or sense of godliness because we say that we are spiritual but not religious, or that we believe in God but aren't religious, that we have our own idol of what we call God and think that that is a worthy standard to live by. No, it is but folly. For the true living God is the standard. The only thing, like, like literally, the they have to way on the to fact the that he was in, uh, is inside and by through the Son, Jesus Christ. And this other young man right here, right, uh, young young Don, I believe his um, username is or his pseudonym is nickname. He is a self. He describes himself as a as a new Christian, as of two months ago. I pray for this young man that he be edified in the Word of God, in the truth, that he would not capitulate that he would not bend down to the authority of men in conforming to what other men have said is the truth to see that those who claim to be Christians are the majority are are promoting a ecumenical uh, heresy they are pr promoting a world religion masked as Christianity they are promoting a whitewashed version of what the Bible actually teaches. And we must come to realize that Jesus Christ fulfilled his promise. He did return with his angels and with the saints. He reigned and lived with the saints for a thousand years. Now we're living in the time where Satan has been released. The nations have been deceived. The nation of Israel has already received her judgment. We are living in a peculiar time where we will be judged by what we have done in the body. Our, our works will be judged. And we have the opportunity to live again in Christ. We can be born again into Christ. Though we have been born into these latter times where deception is rampant the, de the nations are deceived what people think christianity is what people think islam is what people think judaism is right now is but in appearance yet the word of god is true the word of god is undeniable it is undefeated the word of god has been preserved stands fast and we're not to be ashamed of it, though the world has come up with all ways to attempt to discredit it, ridiculize it, um, claim its unreliableness, that we cannot trust it because it's corrupt, it's been translated, this and the other. We, we should just trust in ourselves and love ourselves and blast ourselves into the next ver higher version of ourselves and blast a rocket to Mars. Rather, instead of trusting charlatans that would have you buy all these seminars and courses on how to become rich and su successful, turn to the Lord. Believe on the saving of the soul. We have no excuse to be further living in our sin, in our error. We can clearly see the spirit of God in those who work righteousness and the spirit of error with which worketh unrighteousness. We can come to discern who is living in hypocrisy and who is living according to the spirit in truth. And that we do not just uh, live in speaking 
the Word of God, but doing the Word of God. I, I do believe that these young men have the opportunity to say no more to the ways of the world. Because I do believe that these men have the opportunity to see and embrace the truth, the truth that truly makes a man free and sets him onto the path of righteousness after holiness. Realizing that they don't have to live in their sin, justifying their their wickedness, their quote-unquote unperfectness. Realizing that the excuse of, well, no man is perfect, doesn't hold water any longer. We do realize that there is a holy God and that we have been called to be holy. Yes. Amen. And we do have the hope, which is in Christ Jesus. That his faith is made, his love is made perfect in us and those who love the Lord. And he is the author and finisher of our faith. Let us not chase after treasure, you know, worldly treasure. But to store up heavenly treasure and seeking that which is above. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certainly we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therefore therewith content. What more must we think that we need? We do not need to fill ourselves with the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. He who, humbleth, he who humbleth himself will be exalted, and he who exalted himself will be humbled, whether we like it or not. And in reading the Word of God, we have, if one is honest, you will humble yourself. And peradventure, the Lord will grant us, right? repentance for the for the lord is merciful that is what i believe and is what i have witnessed in this life which the lord hath gracefully given me that i may come to him And I pray that these young men come to the Lord as well and forsake, turn from their useful lusts and rather t instead turn to the Lord. Amen.